This lesson demonstrates the use of the free transform and gradient tools, and demonstrates a few common scenarios when using these tools. So here I have a blank Flash Professional project, and the first thing I'm going to need to do is create a shape on the stage. So I'm going to choose my Rectangle Primitive tool, and I'm going to choose a fill that is a gradient. So I've chosen this radial gradient that goes from white to black. It's simple, it'll work for this example. And then I'll click and drag to create my rectangle primitive in the center of my stage. Okay, so here's our rectangle primitive created. I've got my gradient fill, and I've got a basic stroke around the outside, and that, that's fine. We don't really care about the stroke for this particular lesson. But what we're going to want to do is actually do some transforms on this. So what we'll do is go directly under the subselection tool, and we can choose the free transform tool. When we click upon our rectangle primitive using this tool, we get a number of different uh, options here. So we can scale by using any of these little black handles here. We can also do a shear transform. Like this, and for this, we just hover over any of the sides of our object, and we can shear that or skew it. We can also rotate. If I hover around any of these corner points, you can see that the actual cursor turns into a rotation cursor, and then we can rotate. And notice it rotates around the center. That's because of this little point right here. This is what's known as the transform point. And I can grab that using the transform tool and place it someplace else. So maybe I want to pin it right here in the upper left-hand corner. In this case, whenever I do any further transforms on this object, such as rotation or even a scale, we can see that it scales to this particular point. So that's the transform tool. There's another tool in here grouped with the transform tool called the gradient transform tool. And this tool can be used to actually transform our gradient in different ways. This is a radial gradient. So we get the radial transform tool set of controls overlaid when this tool is selected with the gradient transform tool. So what are some things we can do with this? One thing we can do is actually shift using this little cone here. It almost like shifts the light source a bit. We can also move the center of our gradient with this little center point here. We have some other controls along the side. We have controls to rotate our gradient. We can also scale the gradient. And a combination of these should get us exactly what we want using this tool. So this lesson has described both the transform tool and the gradient transform tool within Flash Professional CS6.